Some developers never ever learn their lesson. Sup guys, I'm Cabrutus. Well, um, yeah, there's this game called Farm Folks. And to be quite frank with you all, I have never ever heard about this game until yesterday. And it was because this uh, open letter, yeah, let's put it that way, of this open letter that they have wrote. Let's take a look at why they wrote this, all right? There's this awesome, um, there's this awesome article uh, talking about the issue in that park place. Uh, John Trent wrote this, he's a great guy. Hit this guy a follow on Twitter and also follow the park place on Twitter. It's, it's an amazing uh, website with actual good journalism, okay? Right? So yeah, let's do it. Uh, farm folk, okay, so let's go straight to the part that interests us. Yeah, so they start um, explaining uh, how this drama began. They shared three different videos videos with different physics for the female characters. Follow up, they stated, doesn't anyone want to see that 100% looks like? So this is the post that made them um, apologize. Uh, let's take a look. All right, folks, time for some serious game development talk. We're tinkering with character physics in farm folks, bur uh, and farm folks. Burning question. Which version has the perfect... Uh, breast jiggles physics and does anyone want to see what <laughs> you know i mean <laughs> in my opinion this is a very very cool um um develop talk you know i mean it's funny you know it's funny so if you are a developer and you want to have this kind of interaction between you and your community your potential players and customers in my opinion, as a gamer, as a player, as someone who has been, you know, buying games since very young, as someone who's been following this industry for over 25 years, uh, yes, I am that old. Bro, I mean, this is a perfect way. I, I would love this kind of talk, you know? I mean, it, this is perfect, you know? You are, you know, you are talking in gamers' language. We understand this. We love this. It, it, this uh, kind of stuff make us gamers be able to relate to you developers, you know, because we feel like you guys are one of us. We feel like you guys understand what we want for, for a game, right? Um, or even what we want for your game, you know? So, yeah. So that's pretty funny. I mean, in my opinion, nothing wrong with this, but of course, of course, of course, someone, someone had to, you know, <laughs> someone who had to see a problem with all of this. All right, so um, scrolling down, we can see who, we can start seeing who, the kind of people who had a problem with this. And to no one's surprise, there they are. <laughs> Black girl gamers. This ain't it. Mm, all right, okay. Um, as you can imagine, boobs are sensitive subject. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I mean, I'm not pretending, it's just it's just that this is so silly. It's such bullshit, man. Because I mean I, I cannot help but you know I cannot help just by just no I just love it. Um okay, so boobs are sensitive subjects, alright. Especially since women have been subject to a lot of vitriol in gaming lately. What the heck is vitriol? Vitriol. Ah, oh, be it a criticism or a malice. Her mother is sudden gush of fury. Ah, oh, okay, so, okay. I have a lot of vitriol in gaming lately, and the latest discourse regarding sexualization of characters. Oh, so she's probably talking about uh, Stellar Blade. Hmm. Vitriol? Really? I mean, vitriol, let's see the meaning. Bitter criticism or malice? People loved uh, Stellar Blade. People loves. Uh, people love Eve. Her design. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, Vitro coming from you guys, maybe. You guys are the ones you know who hate women and femininity. You know, you guys hate women. If this is indeed has bad positivity intention, then future may be worse. And ah. <laughs> Additionally, if your bio disclosed that the game is meant to be an adult farming simulator, then that might be that might curb people's reactions to this post a little bit. So for a game to have you know Jiggles physics, the game has to be, you know, a, an adult game, like a pornograph porn game, really. 
Was I? I can. I mean, that doesn't make any sense because I mean, I can just just the top of my head. I can think of some examples of games that have some jiggle, amazing jiggle physics, and they are not necessarily pornographic games. You know. Hmm. Okay. I'm moving on. Yeah. So that that was black girl games. That didn't surprise anyone. You know. I, just I mean, just take a look at Forspoken, spoken, right? That's all I have to say. Uh, one user wrote, good to know what game to avoid in the future. What the fuck is this book? This is physics events on Yeah, yeah, just, I mean, uh, Ray Leon, Jonas, Jonas, yeah, I mean, low testosterone statement. You know, this guy likes testosterone. I'm not gonna even talk about him. Yeah, forget this. You no, know, I, bro, go hit the gene, lift some weight, and yeah, get more testosterone to your body. You badly need it, in my opinion. Another post a long time back or farm folks. I'm enjoy watching development to this point. This post though, not so much. Not the wholesome content we've come to expect. Because of some boobies. I mean you can I don't know, you I mean I I don't know if in this game you can, you know, edit edit the, the your your character um, breast size, but if you can you can just, you know, put it the smallest size, I don't know. Hmm. You know, this is what I see. I mean boobies are scaring these people, I mean, are, are, you know, making these people avoid the game. They hate women, man. They hate femininity. They hate women. I mean, she just said she's literally not going not going to be playing the game, the game anymore because of boobies. I mean, she's a woman. She has boobies, bo boobs, right? I, I, I think so. Hmm, okay. However, many of the comments share their opinion on which physical option they prefer. I go with 50% since it's just jogging. 50% just add a slider. It just add the perfect, perfect answer. Add a slider. If you don't want no like jiggles, just I mean, but it's zero percent. Yeah, but perfect answer, Mr. Enduil. Yeah, congratulations, man. That would be my suggestion too. 30% for me, 30%, and there's two more share the top. Sorry, but I find this completely unnecessary, so don't, don't use it, don't, don't use it, it's fine. But I mean, at least she shared her, her opinion, he has, she has the right to do it, okay, so anyway. 30% is there, uh, without just being a solid, right, uh, we need to know, I mean, uh, yada, yada, yada. What happened after this? Um, This happened, you know, and after, you know, all this drama you know, that happened because of boobs, because of jiggle physics. This happened. And you no know, those guys, the farm cook oh sorry, farm folks, they <laughs> they uh they released this. Uh they apologized. Yes, that's what they did. They apologized because of boobs, boobies, yes. Um Let's take a quick read. We'd like to address a recent post where he came to community asking for feedback. I thanks us to connect and grow with our players. And you guys were doing it the right way. You guys were surely connecting uh, with your gamers. I can I can relate to this. I mean, I can say this because I didn't I wasn't even following this game. And when I saw that that post, I, bro, if I if I saw that post uh scrolling Twitter, I would 100 percent you know answer it and start following you guys. Cause I like that kind of talk. You no, know, just just like you no know, developers and you know, all talking like w talking with another gamers like they were gamers. Clearly, we missed the mark on recent community feedbacks, but for that we all sincerely apologize. You, you you guys just lost me and lost many people out there. I guarantee. We had received concern about the female player model's breast physics in the past, and we thought we should ask the community if it felt more appropriate. And finally, this cross the line, we tried to foster a welcome community, and the post was subsequently yada yada yada. The reply made about 150% physics was also inappropriate. What? What? Why? Why? Who runs this? I mean, who wrote this? A fat woman with a purple hair with daddy issues? I mean, probably, right? You guys just lost a huge opportunity here. Unfortunately, you guys just lost a huge opportunity here. You guys could have said, yo, um, we believe in free players' freedom of choice, so this is why we are adding a slider, you know? I mean, you guys can still do it. You, know? you guys can still come out and say it. Uh, this is why we are adding a slider 
So if you don't like the Jiggle physics, you can just, you know, don't have it. But for those who would like to have, we're going to be adding a slider and you can just adjust the Jiggle's physics to your taste. Perfect. Perfect. Of course, those people, those kind of people, you know, would still find problem with this, you know, because, you know, um, they, 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 they don't like pe for other people to have freedom of choice, you know, they like to dictate what is good and what is not. They like to prevent other people to have freedom of choice. They, 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 don't, they don't like freedom at all, you know, but the vast majority of people, people who are actually going to buy your game and play your game and care about your game, they would love this. I guarantee you guys. Okay, so with this kind of you know um answer, you guys just lost you know a huge amount of sales. I can guarantee you guys. Okay, I can guarantee. You. Seriously, um guys, developers out there, do not listen to these people. People like those I just shown. Okay, like like your gamers and those people who are complaining about this. And the reason for that is very, very, very simple. Um, they don't buy games. They don't really like video games. They will not buy your game. They will not play your game. Even if you do everything they are asking, even if you put everything they ask in your game, they are not going to buy your game. They are not going to play your game. They are not going to be part of your game's community. I guarantee those people, they just want power. They just want to control. You know? They just want to show the other people, hey, we can dictate, you, we can make a developer you know, uh, um, give up on some idea. We can influence the way a game or, I don't know, a movie, animation, anything is being made. We can control culture. They just want power. They just want to feel like they are the ones uh, you know, playing the cards. And that's unfortunate, you know, and the fact that you guys, I mean, developers, uh, and the fact that there are still developers out there who actually listen to, to those kind of people and think that this is the best course of action to, to take in order to your guys' games, uh, in order to, to their games be successful, is funny and sad at the same time. Mostly sad because, bro, it's 2024. You guys should have learned the lesson by this point, you know. Those people, again, those people do not buy games. Those people do not play video games. They are not real gamers. They are not part of this. And yet, some of you guys choose to listen to them. Hmm? Again, congratulations. You guys just probably killed your game. It's Doha. But there's still time. If you guys, if you guys retreat, if you guys regret from this... And you guys just announced that you, you're going to be putting a slider because you guys respect your player's freedom of choice. That would be perfect. There's still time for that. Okay, if you guys ever watch this video, think about it. So they, they gave this answer, right? They, they, they say they apologize and yada, 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 you know, low testosterone statement. Okay, so <laughs> look at this. Um, look at this reply uh, on their post. Uh, this reply has been made by this uh, profile. Xesperia. Mm, yes, pronouns. Okay. Thank you for the apology. Even, even if I think it was borderline unknown issue, I clearly upset other people. It clearly upset other people. So at least she thinks it was an unknown issue. Okay, thanks. I mean, we agree on this. But I think the biggest problem here is how are you going to address the way one of your community manager, managers responds to people? It was unacceptable, and that's worse than the OG post. Mm, let's take a look. So, Kirara Lala is the community manager, probably, right? And so, John made their hor horrifying boob tweet that keeps popping up on my... Uh, mm. An apology for an update to the character movements. There were suggestions to work on making the jiggling more, more natural. And even many suggestions for a slider for people to pick how jiggly they want. Mm, that's the perfect answer. Perfect answer, perfect suggestion. But don't worry, we also require some butt jiggles and this jiggling should be able to apply all of our forms. <laughs> butt jiggle, yes, add butt jiggle, butt jiggle. Guys, I mean, I cannot believe my eyes. Are we actually seeing a good community manager in action? Are we? 
Mm, maybe. Uh, let's keep reading. Uh, it's because supporters join communities. Complainers like to stick to comment section like Twitter and Facebook. Exactly. Exactly. People who actually cares about your game, about what you guys are doing, they will support you in every single platform. No, they, they won't just go to your Twitter page and complain and write some comments. That's not how it is. But you guys probably know, don't know this better than me, right? I mean, I, I, I think so, at least. You guys are developers, right? I don't see anything wrong with being allowed to have some natural movements to game characters. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you right now, if I went for a run, I would be bouncing a lot harder than any of those videos that allow to exist to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. I love that they are developing the ability to have movement in your character's bodies. It was a fun, silly video and can't wait for the jiggle. Jiggle in your body is not sexual. It's pervy people that are the problem. Dude. Actual based community manager? Unbelievable, man. I'm glad seeing this, you know, I'm glad they are, they, I mean, I'm glad they still exist. They worked on all the body movements, you can scroll and see, but only when it came to the breast area is it the issue? Based committee manager, man. I'd like to ask we pause this conversation until we can hear from Alex, Alex Key. Um, he's probably the main developer, the, the owner of Farm Folks. Yeah, probably. Your concerns have been heard, I fully agree, there should be an official response, and yada yada yada. Okay, uh, sorry guys, I was going through morning calls, let me check what's happening here, okay. Why are we not allowed to have a more adult farming simulator? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to be very mild compared to GTA. But just because it's a farming sim, does not mean everything needs to be made for 12 and under. This game has transformed into more of A, more of A? Ah, hey, okay. It's a different kind of farming thing. There's a lot of more going on than farming. There's factual simulator. We got PvP, PV, and they're working towards uh, having a massive amount of customization in the game. Sorry, I had to move to talk to text because I can't type. Like I said, I broke my wrist and yeah, yeah. Okay. There's the, there's the boss. Mm. So that, that, that was it? This was the unacceptable uh, answer? Really? What, I mean, what's wrong with what? what, what mm. He didn't say anything wrong, man. Yeah, um, you see, they apologized. But guess what? It isn't enough. They want to erase, delete, make, I mean, anyone who disagreed with them or who said something they don't, they didn't like, you know, to disappear. I mean, this girl, this person, she is asking for him to, you know, um, I mean, in other words, she didn't say it, but she's basically asking for him to get booted, banned from Discord for, you know, and losing his um, community manager position just because he answered in a way she didn't like. And bro, I'm going to be honest, man, I didn't see anything wrong with his answers. In fact, they were pretty based, you know. I mean, the, the first time we see a base committee manager in a long time, and people want them to, and people want him, um, the committee manager to be banned. That's crazy. That's Kyle. Yeah, of course. First, come happy for the apology. <laughs> this guy, this guy, is very funny. I like him. Wait, this doesn't seem bad at all. Am I? Uh, yes. Um, how is this uh, inappropriate? I like case in the problem in this screen category. Okay. However, Kirara was unnecessary, combative, and aggressive in their responses there mm. as a company from person that's not a good look that was a perfect response in my opinion mm. the response was yeah the response was fine this is not how to speak all the screenshot around twitter i see nothing wrong with those responses these responses are very respectful and yes yes i mean i'm glad the vast majority of people are i'm not seeing any issue um i hope nothing happens to that to that guy because Sorry, that girl. I, mean, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, I'm sorry. But, I mean, yeah, I'm, I, ho I hope nothing happens to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the CM's response is not in any aspect of case. So, yeah, I mean, I'm glad that people do not agree with this. I mean, I hope nothing happens to Kibrara, to her. It was fine. Well, so, again, let's take, I mean, just to wrap things up. Again, I just want to emphasize and say it again. 
those people do not buy your guys' games. Those people do not like video games. Those people do not like gamers. Those people do not like games communities. They just want power. They just want to feel like they are in control. They just want to dictate what they think is right or appropriate to other people. That's all they want to do. That's the whole goal. Please do not listen to them. I mean, black girl gamers, do you want the same thing that happened to Forspoken to happen to, happen to your game? Really? After Forspoken, are, are there still developers who are listening to, to, to those? I mean, to that company? Black girl gamers? Hmm. Yeah, so that's all I had to say. Um, ciao, ciao.